Okay, congratulations, you've been elected as a new warden. This is a compulsory induction course for the new bunker wardens, but you know, it was all written by some bureaucrats who have never actually lived in a bunker. So you know your way around. We can just skip it and jump right down to the business. I won't tell anybody, promise. Uh, we're gonna continue. Move the camera to WASD. WASD. Okay. Is that it? Okay, that's it. I don't think that was it. Okay. Oh, okay. F and G to zoom out. Z and X to change camera angles. Okay. Time is an abstract thing which goes differently for everyone, especially in the bunker. The panel shows the local bunker time and the buttons to control it. Okay. Uh, an experienced warden knows that the bunker is not just floors and walls, but also a complex system of power and water grids. The bunker, besides main layer one, which shows all the... Okay, so main layer is one. Okay. Which shows all the object residents, has several others initially hidden from the eye. The water grid, power grid. To switch between layers, use the corresponding buttons. Oxygen. The underground air contains a very little amount of oxygen and a lot of dust. Makes it very hard to breathe in. The residents constantly require clean, fresh air. Each underground level has its own oxygen level. The lack of oxygen in the air can have dreadful consequences for the residents. Okay, so that's the oxygen level. Every water must remember that the bunker can grow not only wide, but as deep as well. The underground world of the bunker consists of four underground levels, which go deep down. To switch between them, use the arrows. Okay. In order to make the lower levels accessible to residents, you need to build uh, special lifts. Don't hurry though, we have a long list of things you must do before even thinking about expanding. Okay. A warden must always have all the information in hand. For quick access to bunker statistics, press the button, bunker stats, bunker stats, or the tab button. Tab button's a lot easier for me. Uh, this one explains all the important information about the bunker, its residents, upgrades, and lists in the most recent events. Okay. A good warden always knows the right time to expand the bunker. That's why he has a range of different tools available in the main panel. Uh, cursor allows the warden to select individual residents and objects. Obviously, yeah, okay. Uh, fundamental structures contain the most basic building blocks such as walls, floors, utilities. Okay, I'm so looking forward to building. Infrastructure contains all available objects to build, beds, kitchens, so on. Awesome. Destroy is a dig ground to dismantle fundamental objects. Okay. So, there are many different resources as the warden at the warden's disposal. Some of them are needed to residents. Oh, God. Okay, population, research points, garbage, building materials, ore, fruits, vegetables, grains, fish, main menu. Okay. Every warden must remember that the gradual change of generation is vital for the long accessible life of the bunker. Select the incubator. Each incubator can simultaneously sustain and produce up to three embryos. Oh, so that's how you just make more people. Uh, press the egg button <laughs> to commence the production of new residents. Once the embryo is fully developed, a new healthy child will appear in the bunker. All right, conceive babies. Is this, that's not the embryo thing. This is the embryo thing. All right, we need to conceive three babies. Okay. The bunker warden is also in charge of distributing jobs amongst the residents. Uh, the bunker residents are capable of doing many jobs, but every resident is unique and can be assigned to specific tasks. Select a resident and give him or her available uh, one of the available professions. You can also grant and change professions in the bunker stats window. On the tab residents, on the tab residents. Okay, so we got blah, 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 blah. Select a resident and give him or her available professions. Okay, so you select a person, you give them something. Um, and then grant change of the professions in the bunker stats window. So you give them specific, oh, they have specific tasks of what they're good at. Once you made yourself familiar with the procedure, select and assign three residents to be workers. Okay. Profession. Worker. Okay. So Alan's a worker. Kamal is a worker. And Manuel is a worker. Okay. Any future warden must know the bunker as other homes should be kept clean. To tackle this, you need janitors. The janitors clean garbage in the bunkers and clean the landfalls. All collected garbage goes to the waste container. Now pick a resident and name him janitor. Uh, you are now a janitor. Okay. She's slacking. What an ass. At one point, you won't have enough space to build new objects. That's when you only have to knock down a few walls and do some digging. 
On the modes panel, choose destroy and select a place where you'd like to have a new room. Mark 10 by 10 tiles, simply use tiles to destroy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you have to tell workers to start to confirm by pressing button three and the workers will start digging. Uh, if you change your mind, you want to cancel the tiles mark, press the button two. Okay. You could probably also just click it. Uh, please concentrate. By building floors, you automatically build ceilings as well. Thus, placing floors on clear ground can detect it from landfalls in the future. There are several types of flooring. Some objects can be built on specific type of floor. For instance, mini reactor refinery can only be built on concrete. On the modes panel, select fun, uh, fundamental structures and then go to the flooring group. Uh, choose one of the tiles. Okay. And cover the whole area that has been cleared on the ground. After you finish placing tiles, confirm it by three, and the workers will start building. Congratulations, you just made a foundation for a future room. Uh, your bunker needs walls. Why? Well, to separate big spaces into smaller rooms. Now, to finish the room, let's build its walls. And the fundamental structure is find the group walls one. Uh, and then build, and then press on the wall icon. And now you can uh, plan the walls layout. Once you've done that, confirm by pressing the button three, and the workers will start building. Okay, so this is how you build everything. Jeez, it's getting really intense. There's a lot of shit. Uh, Warden your residents uh, core sleep on the floor, but they'll have far better sleep in a comfy soft beds. Build six single beds in a room you've just built. On the modes, uh, pick the infrastructure, the residential zone, and the single bed. Place the beds and the residents can access to them. You can rotate beds as well. It's okay. This is very similar to, um, not really similar, but it's very similar to uh, Fallout Shelter on the phone. Okay, so... We want to do fundamental structures. Actually, we want to do destroy. Okay, so we need to build beds. Where do we want to build beds? What is that? That's some kind of monster. Ugh, no, get it away. Cannot be destroyed. Need to learn a specific type of drill. Then let's build it here. Because this looks easier. Okay, check mark. Go destroy that, builders. Are they gonna go destroy it? Oh, there should be a time management thing, right? There we go. Uh do we need to I think we need to destroy the wall to get to it, I would assume. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Alright, they're going in. There's an evil guy over there, though. I don't want the evil guy to get in. That scares me. Why are you guys going in here? Don't go in there. Go do your jobs. Let's go ahead and pause, and then we want to go to fundamentals. We want to do floors. Um, we want to check to see resting zone, sofas, dance machines, VR game machines. Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff. Uh, we need to build beds. Wouldn't that be in resting zones? Farming, storages, residential zone. Residential zone, I would assume. No? Yeah. Uh, standard sleeping place for one bug of resident sleeping in a bed completely restores fatigue. Um, so that costs that type of material. We have a thousand. Um, but we want to do floors first, of course. What's the cheapest floor? Gotta have the cheapest floor at first, at least. Okay, I see what I have to do. Okay, so I have to clear more. I need to clear more to get the walls up. There we go. Check mark. And then we speed up time, and they should do all that. Atta boy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, what we should do is a whole bunch of people that are unassigned. Sure, you'll be an engineer. You'll be a worker. The more workers, the better, really. You'll be the cook. 
be a farmer. All right, continue. So now we have a ton of workers going at it. Check. Go for it. Place down all those walls. Fancy schmancy. There we go. And then we can slow down time. We already did day one. Yeah. Cycle one. Okay. And then we need to go ahead and get some beds in there. Oh, we need six simple beds. I wonder if there's a way to rotate them. Six. And then speed up. All the builders are build all those beds. Boom. Last bed is built. All right. Warden, I really hope that you as well as I do not like the smell of sweat and feces. I can't say I do. Uh, hence, we must build two toilet cabinets and two shower pods. Uh, to begin with, select the infrastructure, then residential zone. Okay. And find required two objects and place them. Okay. So they're kind of like porter potties, so they don't need like their own separate little building shower pod. What we can do is actually put some shower pods in here, right by the beds. That's a good idea. And then we put some toilet pods. I don't know what these things are. I think that's the power room. Maybe we shouldn't put them in the power room. Uh, we can put one here. Is there a way to rotate? Okay, right click. Put one there. I think those might have been placed incorrectly. I didn't really look at where the arrows were. Okay. Uh, well done. The toilet cabins and shower pods have been built. However, the resident cannot use them just yet. Some objects require water uh, to function. And to make the newly built facilities available to all residents, you have to connect them to the water grid. Uh, select the layer water grid and the modes. Okay. Uh, fundamental structures in the group. And you need to get pipes. And, uh, okay. So you need to get pipes. So we go to the water grid. And then we need to do is here. Life support. No. No. Here. No. Production. Nope. I missed a step. No. Oh, it's fundamentals. Okay. Connects the objects to the water. I think those those are facing the incorrect direction. So the water grid. Where is the water? Okay, here's the water grid. Right? are all connected now then we need to check mark those and then people will build them I need to rotate this though okay dear warden in order to replenish the supplies and the building materials you must start mining or build a mining machine on an ore deposit oh uh, you most likely have to dig up a path to one of those in order to build a mining machine in the mode infrastructure, find the group of production and choose the mining machine. Place it on three on the ore deposit. Okay, so we need to find an ore deposit first. So, okay, you will most likely dig up to a path one of those in order to build a mining machine in the mode infrastructure, find a group of production, uh, choose a mining machine, place it on an ore deposit, path of the carrier, the workers will start building. Okay, well, where is there an ore deposit? Oh, I can manage all from here, too. That's so much easier. Um, I think we need to go... That's a rift. Oh, we got three new residents. Ooh. Okay, so if we have three new residents, then we should assign them to their new roles. Actually, I think they're children. That's what it seems like. All right, we're going to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Oh, that was an autosave. We gotta demolish those and actually put down them in the correct direction. That was my bad. I didn't know that was a thing. Hurry up and disassemble those. Thank you. Thank you. Build storage containers for those. Okay. Thing is, we need to find ore. Mining machine. Okay. Let's read this again. Dear Warden, order replenish the materials, uh, the building materials you need to start mining ore. Build a mining machine on an ore deposit. I need an ore deposit. That's the issue. Uh, you will mostly need to big, uh, dig up a path to one of those. So how do we dig up? Oh, I don't think it means that up. I think it just means dig to one. That scares me, though. What happens if I dig out to one of those monster-looking things? Well, so far, so good. Well, thank you guys for stopping by the first episode. Uh, we will be back. If you guys like this, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, we'll be back. We're going to continue the tutorial. Uh, we have the basics down. Uh, and then we just have to start mining out and looking for ore. That way we can do a whole bunch of building stuff. So I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.